Well, I was a little wrong about uh, the construction of this dress. I went through my reference materials uh, last night and uh, found more photographs, of course, of this uh, young Crow Indian girl wearing this dress and uh, found that it didn't hang loose from the top. It was stitched to the bottom half right across here. So I've got to do that. Also found the length of the uh, sleeves. The uh, landlord's cutting a lawn today. That's why you hear the lawnmower going by. <laughs> so we might be hearing him a little bit today. Time to play with some clay. I don't have to do a lot of real big changes. I just got to make it uh, not hang out there quite so far. What I'm doing is getting the dress under the small flap of skin that uh, hangs below the stitching and get the uh, wrinkles in the dress now instead of waiting till I put the flap on
This wire tool that I'm using is from SculptureDepot.net. It's a uh, glyptic wire tool. You can buy the uh, wire loops separate from the uh, tool, and then you just uh, put whatever desired loop you want into the handle, and you have a little Allen wrench screw right here which you tighten down on it and it holds it in the uh, the handle. It lasts forever. Very cost effective. Okay, the one thing I found out is the sleeves are much uh, wider and they are not sewn together like a normal sleeve. There's no bottom seam to close up the sleeve. It hangs like a poncho over the arm. Now there's beadwork, heavy beadwork that goes down along the sleeve, but the weight of the beadwork would be pulled back, as I see in my photograph that I'm sharing with you now, so it doesn't show up. But there are folds in this skin showing the softness of the skin. This would be soft doe skin that would be brain tanned leather. And brain tan is the, the way the Native Americans tanned the hide of the skin. And it made it uniquely soft and almost breathable the way they worked the skin. You could wear a, a leather dress in the summertime and still be kind of cool in it because you could li almost literally blow through the uh, leather. It's a very unique way of tanning the leather. People still do it today, but boy, it's expensive if you want to buy a brain tan dress or jacket very expensive what they do is they take the brains from the animal that had the skin on it and interestingly enough each uh, animal has just enough brain matter to tan its own hide Gravity has an effect on the clothing. Leather, no matter how it's worked, is still heavy to some extent. And so gravity has an effect 
on how it hangs. I added a little bit more to the sleeve only because one of the beauties of that dress is the very wide sleeve. I'm going to trim it down just a little bit, but uh, I wanted to add a little more leather to it. Because it is rather long, wide. I'm going to heat up the blade of my knife. I'm uh, starting on the other sleeve now and uh, trying to build up the uh, wrinkles in the clothing. Can't be exactly the same, but uh, they would be similar. All right, that's going to be uh, it for today. I've got uh, the two sleeves worked out. I'm like liking what I got. And uh, next time I'll move on to the fringe and, and uh, the neckline of the dress. And then uh, working on the hair of the uh, young lady. I got to fix a damaged eye up there. And then we'll move down to the bottom part. I'm going to probably leave the, the robe in the texture I have it. Because I kind of like that. So, we'll pick this up next time. It worked out good today. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, subscribe if, subscribe 
if you like my videos. I re it would really help me, especially if you liked my video. All right, good night. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.